Okay, so it was a really, really long work week. Um, everything went smooth on the route uh, up until the night before last. Um, as I showed up early to a job site, I decided to, you know, to take a nap, you know, as I do in between the job sites. Um, after going to Magic Johnson Park, I should have just stood there for, for you know, because Magic Johnson Park doesn't close until like nine. I should have stayed there all the way until, you know, nine o'clock. But then I thought, yeah, I don't want to wake up, move the van, take another nap over there in the parking lot. So I was like, yeah, I'll just move right now. It's around uh, uh, six thirty. I, I moved over from uh, Magic Johnson Park all the way to the job site in on uh, in uh, the city of Bellflower. And as I'm sitting in the city, I'm sitting there. I decided to take a nap. It was it was raining outside of the van. First of all, then a, a couple pulled up next to me, drunk as hell, arguing about who knows what. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, you know, go take get away from the window and just go to the back and you know probably you know to try to take a nap. So I go to the back. I'm taking a nap. Um, I fall asleep all the way around. Eight on the dot, around between seven fifty-five to eight oh five, somewhere around right there. Um, I more sooner, like more, more like seven fifty-five to that. I wake up because it sounds like someone ran into us, like a really bad screeching sound. I wake up before my dog wakes up, <laughs> so I get up. I'm like, "What the hell's that?" And then I hear it again, and it sounds like metal screeching up against the bus. So I look out the window, and there's um. A little car, a little black hatchback, black with red and a bicycle with the door open, looking straight at me. I'm like, what the hell? So my my initial thought was, yeah, you know, like these idiots ran into me, and I'm thinking maybe it was you know, had to do with the drunk couple. So I go to I, I I go I jump I jump off the bed, put my shoes on as fast as I can, have some slip on, have my slip slip on go flex. So I it's not like I took you know. A, you know, more than a couple seconds to put my shoes on. By that time, my dog's up. Um, I run out. I come out. I literally come out like this around the bus. I close the do the gate, of course, so I don't want my 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 dog getting caught up in some shit. I run across, and these fools start pulling away. As they're pulling away this way, um, one of them points a gun at me. So I back up. I'm like, whoa! I start trying to get you know trying to get cover behind the van. And they peel off. So I come to the side. I'm like, they hit me and pulled a gun on me? That don't make sense. And I'm looking. There's nothing wrong. I'm like, oh, man. I knew what had happened at that point. I right away, I right away looked underneath. And sure enough, my catalytic, my catalytic converter was cut. These motherfuckers cut my catalytic converter off my vehicle in less than, in less than a minute and a half. It was probably like a minute. These motherfuckers were fast. Well, I mean, there's clear. It's clearly you could crawl underneath it real fast. So, but these motherfuckers cut my shit on a job site in a parking lot. Six, uh, eight o'clock, full of people. There was all kinds of customers there, all kinds of people there. And 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 they had the the you know the nerve to pull up pull a gun on me. Like, had I came out, you know prepared for that it would have it would have gotten really hairy right there at the point at that time at that point in time so anyways i have no catalytic converter and i i don't have i have a whole work week ahead full of uh worth uh where the customer sent me all the equipment so i literally have my storage full of equipment i had to go drop off pretty much everything at the storage which is why I have all these empty boxes. I'm, I might as well clean out the uh, the bus real good. But here's what we got going. I got a three inch pipe, three inch flex. Uh, this is um, 14, 14 inch by fourteen inch. Um, I don't know what's it called. It's re it's repair wrap. Is what it's called. It's, it's high high temperature, high temperature. Do not anyone, do not go and try this shit with without anything that's not exhaust. Uh, like an exhaust pipe. Don't go to Home Depot. Go to go to AutoZone. If you go to Home Depot, you you might ca uh, cause a fire. I got a three inch adapter, a three inch expansion flange, um, the extra clamp. This one comes with the extra clamps. And then I got more some metal strapping in case it starts drooping because it's most likely gonna droop because it's pretty heavy shit. And then some um some exhaust. 
uh, system sealant. So hopefully this works. I'll be able to like temporarily drive without a catalytic converter, which by the way is not bad. I, I looked it all up. It's actually better for your vehicle to not have a catalytic converter. <laughs> uh, the, the main reason why um, people have to have catalytic converters is 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 um and this is only in specific states where left wing extremists are trying to control the weather like gods. Okay, so they have they have to do with um it has to do with the environment. Basically, that's all it is. The environment is basically a big scam, and then they're sell at the same time. Uh, precious metals are involved, so it's a big uh, scam based on precious metals. Irregardless, it's something that you need in California. They won't reg uh, they won't uh, register your vehicle, and, and my vehicle is up for a registration again, um, which includes a smog, of course. Fucking stupid idiots. But anyways, I got my um. I got my uh uh my new crawl space suit that I just that I just got which I'm gonna be able to try out right now. And I'll throw on some old shoes and hopefully this works guys. I'll I'll let you I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, these these uh catalytic converter thieves are fucking are are pros. Like these guys are are, are fast. And I swear it, it took less than a minute. By the time the so so people seen what happened, like the whole parking lot seen what happened. People called the police. Um, the police was out there at eight fifteen in the sky on the with the with the um, the helicopter, the ghetto bird. So the ghetto bird was up out in the sky by eight fifteen over over Home Depot. But those guys had had a good five to ten minutes uh, uh, head start in a little hatchback, dark cons inconspicuous hatchback. Um, and sadly, the people that stole it happened to be my own people. You know, they have, they, have, they look, they were look, they look definitely Mexican. They didn't look southern, southern American, Central American. No, no, these guys were Mexican Chicanos, just like me. So yeah, yeah, sucks that uh, I got targeted by my own. <laughs> Not that it would make it any better if someone else targeted me, but um, yeah, this this whole like catalytic kind of like converter thing is really bad. I suggest everyone, 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 take your cars in. Have them weld iron rods. Have them weld uh, preventive measures. These guys are getting ruthless. If they're doing this shit broad daylight with guns and shit. Well, not broad daylight, but, you know, in, in the evening when the parking lot's full of people and customers. And then pulling out guns and shit. I mean, this is really bad. This is some fucking um, desperate situation. Like, you know, desperate means desperate measures. We know what all that means. And which is weird because last year I had been telling everyone that uh, this happened in Bel... It was in the newspaper. It happened in Belmont Shore. Right, the parking lot over from where uh, uh, we used to go, where me and Zoe at the dog park go to uh, hang out a lot. And um, the guy, same thing, same situation. He came out, confronted them, and he was shot in the chest. I mean, I, I honestly like, I could have been shot last uh, two nights ago, and um, over a fucking catalytic converter. Yeah, and like, and, and originally I thought they had just crashed. I was out there like, oh, are you guys okay? Like these drunk idiots crashed into me. That's that was my initial thought. It was like, oh, man, I hope these guys are okay. So there I am going outside like, oh, these drunk idiots hurt themselves. And no, it's these fucking armed, th armed fucking thieves and shit. And uh, caught, me off, caught me surprised. Like, honestly, it was so fast. It happened so fast. My dog my dog didn't even, wasn't able to respond fast enough. She's like looking at me like, I'm sorry. <laughs> she knows something bad happened. She was like, oh, I'm sorry. And she's like, and I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not like, oh, my poor baby. She probably thinks that I'm like talking shit to her. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm gonna try this out, and I'll update you guys on the on the, the on the video.